Intention Beads, Believe and Achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. It is going to be the second of the month that we are going to have a full moon. This full moon will be taking place in fellow water sign Pisces. I think you are going to love this energy. The full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what you truly want in your heart of hearts. It has to do with creativity and feeling like a big kid or having kids are covered here as well. This part of the sky also speaks to taking chances, taking risks, and considering how Uranus is speaking in harmony with this full moon, these may be risks that do pay off. Now, what I do especially feel is fortunate is that this is a part of the sky that has to do with luck. And Uranus, speaking in harmony, can bring very quick luck and quick gains as well. Whether you're using this energy in terms of something like a lottery ticket or whether you're using it in terms of getting in touch with your own instincts and taking a chance from that instinctual place, gains can be made very quickly and they can be quite large ones as well. Now, because this part of the sky does connect with creativity and our creations like our children, your fertility may surprise you at this time, so be on the lookout for that. But it is also the case that this can speak to creative projects and endeavors and where it is that you are looking to either take what you do and have it reach a whole lot of people, where it is that you use your creativity to your advantage, this can be a time when you are able to cultivate greater awareness and greater opportunities based on what it is that you uniquely share. As we navigate later in the month, it is gonna be on the 17th of the month that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a very social part of your sky, having to do with friends and people that you're connected with through group endeavors, professionally or personally. This is also a part of the sky that connects to the hopes and wishes that you have for your life. Now, this is a beautiful new moon. I think one of the more fortunate new moons that I have seen in a while. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn. Pluto, of course, being your modern ruling planet. It means that what is transpiring here, you are that much more personally invested in it. And it is Saturn that ultimately speaks to solid gains and long-term success. It speaks to stability. And so it is going to be with this new moon that you may find yourself meeting new people. Now, it may be socially that you are connecting with others. It may be professionally. But it is these particular connections that have the potential to benefit your life in all kinds of ways for a very long time to come. Now, whether it is that these people that you do connect with now have the potential to help you to transform your circumstances for the better, it does seem that you make a positive impression. And of course, as I said, with Saturn there having to do with success, it could be practical and career-related opportunities that are part of the gains that you make at this time. And at the very least, I do think it may be through fun. As I like to think with this part of the sky, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I would say that if it is that you are looking to welcome in greater opportunity, align with the larger hopes and wishes that you have for your life, well, it may very well be through other people that you get that much more in alignment with these very things. It may also be that what you hope and wish for in your life goes through a transformation now, it goes through a change. You start to be more honest with yourself about what it is you are truly wanting, what is worth wanting for you, and as a result, align that much more clearly. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that full moon is very powerful indeed. That's happening early in the month. Because it is a heart-oriented part of the sky, that includes in matters of love as well. And so if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, that full moon can bring very surprise opportunities for flirtation. And you may find yourself having at least one memorable moment 
uh, that feels like it comes out of nowhere, but has the potential to redefine you in some way. Because Uranus is involved, there's not a whole lot of stick to here, right? But there is the potential here to have a lot of fun. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I love this energy where it comes to dating uh, because it does suggest being spontaneous, connecting with this other person, getting to know them in surprising ways and enjoying yourself in their company. And for those of you who are in an established bond, when we have important lunar activity in this part of the sky, it tends to remind us of the love that we have. Your fertility can be downright shocking, so keep that in mind. It may really surprise you. And it doesn't necessarily mean this energy has to manifest in that way, but it may be the case that you are being especially inspired to feel closer or more romantic with this person that you love. What I love about this month for you is that, look, in addition to these beautiful and powerful lunar energies, we have other big things happening in the sky now. Make no mistake, it is going to be on September 9th that your ancient ruling planet Mars is going to go retrograde in the middle of the month. Jupiter will go direct and late in the month, Saturn goes direct as well. And when we have planets shifting gears in this way, their energies are that much more heightened, especially right around the time that they are changing directions. Mars, of course, your ancient ruling planet, it is inviting you to completely embrace and live in your day and in your smallest moments more fully, more passionately, with deeper commitment. But ultimately that retrograde is inviting you to contemplate more deeply what authentic empowerment means for you, especially as you walk through the smaller moments of your daily life. And those big planets changing directions and the part of the sky that has to do with what's happening on a level of mind and your thoughts, you will gain some very powerful insights into how you really think, how it is that you speak to others, how it is that you speak to yourself. And it is in these moments of awareness that you are able to then come to a place where you're ready to make a change. Now that conscious decision to change course is one of the most empowering ways in which to engage the sky. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.